Crews are spread out across Georgia, rushing to get the electricity back on for thousands. Atlanta News First, Joshua Skinner is live on Fairview Road in East Atlanta. And Joshua, crews still have not had a chance to restore power where you are. No, right now I am, as you mentioned, on Fairview Road. That's just south of Ponce de Leon, just north of Freedom Park. And the darkness is quite enveloping. It's kind of scary. Me and uh, my photographer, Joe Johnson, we were just talking about hearing things and we're trying to figure out exactly where everything is because you can only see about 10 feet in front of you without this light hitting you in the face. Now, we were in a different neighborhood earlier this evening and the power was out there. But while we were there, crews actually got the power back on like a whole day earlier than they originally thought they might be able to. And there were a bunch of kids who were out running around that neighborhood all day without power. And it was interesting to see, you know, how modern day children deal without having the Internet. Being a 21st century kid with no power on a Friday is a pain. Just read it books because there was nothing else for me to really do. Harriet and her family were just a few of the tens of thousands of people in Metro Atlanta who woke up this morning without power. So you woke up, you had no power. What do you do when you wake up with no power? Uh, I just went down and ate breakfast yeah. I just went with a flashlight. But this morning, somebody was thinking of the children. We have over 1,700 crews out and about restoring power as we speak. Work crews told these kids in Cross Creek they hope to have the power restored by midnight. It should be in the next few hours-ish. I don't really know. But who, who really knows? It's not guaranteed. The crews are working with fervor all over Metro Atlanta and North Georgia, diligently restoring power. Until then, it might be a good time to dive into magical worlds. What books are you reading? Uh, Mermaids Are Real and chapter books. Once again, courses through the neighborhood. No internet, so I couldn't watch really anything. Now, as for when the power out here is going to be back, we don't know. Georgia Power's website actually doesn't have a time for this one like it did for some of the other neighborhoods that we were going through this evening. So, you know, it could be tomorrow at 11.45 p.m., which was kind of the going number that we saw in most neighborhoods. But it just says kind of a to be advised right now. But it is very dark out here. We did see a couple of cats running around. This seems to be that kind of their preferred uh, mode of transportation. They seem to like these lights not being on. But as for the residents, probably not the best, and we can't really see anything. It is kind of an ominous feeling. But again, those crews working diligently throughout the night to get power back to as many people as possible. In fact, quite a few neighborhoods, most of them, I would say, actually have gotten their power back already. Uh, this is probably the biggest swath near the Druid Hills area that we still have homes and businesses without power. Reporting live in the Druid Hills area of East Atlanta, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. In Atlanta.